In this video, we're going to be looking at how to add and subtract time, as well as fractions and decimals of time. Now, let's start with fractions of time. I'm going to start with a basic, simple example. What is half an hour if you convert that to minutes? How many minutes will that be? Now, we all know the answer. It's 30 minutes, right? But how did we get there? We said half an hour is actually half of an hour, which is 60 minutes. Okay, and that of can be replaced by a multiplication sign, which gives you 30. Okay, a more complicated example, we say, what is three-fifths of an hour? If we convert that to minutes. So we know our rule, we're going to say three-fifths of an hour, which is three-fifths times 60, and that gives you 36 minutes. So that's your answer. Okay, now let's talk about decimals when time is involved. So in this example, I'm going to say 72,8 hours must now be converted to hours and minutes. Now the first part is basic. We know that 72, that's, whole, that's a whole number, so that's 72 hours. But the comma 8, how many minutes is that? Now first go and write your decimal down. This is actually 0, 8, okay? Don't write the whole number in the front, write a 0 there. Comma and the decimal. And now we do the same thing um, that we did with fractions. We say times 60. So that's your rule for decimals as well. You multiply the decimal by 60, and then you get something like 48 minutes. Okay, and that's your answer, 48 minutes. You could also have written um, 0, 0,8 as 8 over 10, because it can also be a fraction. Multiply that by 60, and you see 8 tenths of an hour is actually close to 60 minutes, so it's 48 minutes. So you could have also written it as a fraction and multiplied it by 60. Right. Now let's get to adding and subtracting time. We start with an example here of Joe. Now Joe leaves his house at quarter to eight in the morning. Let's just write that in digital time. Quarter to eight in the morning is 7.45. Okay, continuing. And he drives for four hours, 21 minutes to visit his children. At what time does he reach his destination? So what we're doing here is we are adding because he starts at um, 7.48 and he drives for 4 hours 21 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to write my time down and I remember to add 0 for placeholders wherever I need um, to add 0. And 4 hours 21 minutes is 4 hours and 21 minutes. Why do I add placeholders? Because remember, you have 2 hours, 2 um, values by the hours two values by the minutes. So if you only have one value, like let's say you only have four hours and two minutes, you're going to have to say four hours and two with a zero in front of the two. Okay. Right, let's add this. And we see that 45, or this five plus one, it gives you six, and this four plus two gives you six as well. Now this is a problem because minutes only go up to 59 minutes and then once it reaches 60 minutes that's actually one hour. So what we're going to do is, this is the rule, um, if more than 60 or even if it's more than um, 59 minutes but I'm going to say if it's more than 60 you actually subtract 60 from your answer. Now, if you subtract that, 66 minus 60 gives you 6. So remember then to just write a 0 in front of that. That's 6 minutes. Now you need to carry 1 over because you've gone over the hour. And if I carry 1 over, I just added the, that's 1 extra hour. And now you add the hours, 1 plus 7 plus 4 gives you 12. Right, so at 6 past 12, he arrived at his destination. Now, um, you can always just estimate this by saying he left at around 8 and he drove for around 4 hours, which gives you around 12 hours. So if you just estimate, you'll see that um, you get that answer. 
Now, just to, to summarize again, if you go over 60 minutes, so if it's more than 60 minutes, you subtract 60 on the minute side, and then you carry one hour over. Okay. In the last example, we're going to do one that you now have to subtract. Let's see. Um, read with me. The GPS shows a trip to Stuttgart will take 4 hours and 56 minutes. What time did Joe leave his house if he arrived in Stadtraum at 7.45? And we want to know the time he left his house. So this is a subtraction um, sum because he started at 7... Oh, sorry, he arrived at 7.45. And we don't know what time he left his house. The trip took him 4 hours and 56 minutes. So we're going back in time and that's why we're subtracting. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to write them underneath each other. I'm going to make sure to add zeros where I need to add zeros. And 56 minutes. I'm subtracting. Now when you subtract, look at this 45 as a unit. 45 minus 56. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. You can't do that. You're going to get a negative number because it's a small minus a big number. So you have to go borrow. Now, when you borrow um, from your friend, from the hours, you will get 60 minutes. Okay, so you're going to say, I add 60 minutes to the 45. And then on the other side, what happens is you lose, so I say minus one hour. This side loses one. So I cancel the seven and it's now six hours left there. Okay. Right, so let's go back. What you do is you add 60 and 45. That gives you 105. Now you say 105 minus this bottom 56. And you'll get 49. Okay. So you add the two top numbers the 60 and the 45, and you subtract the 56. Now, 6 minus 4 simply gives you 2 hours. Okay, so he left in the middle of the night at around 11 to 3 in the morning, and he drove for around 5 hours, and he got there at 7.45. So if you just had to estimate it, you see that it makes sense. All right, so just to recap, when you borrow, you're actually borrowing 60 minutes, so you're going to add 60 by the minutes and you're going to cancel, so minus 1 by the hours. And that's the end of our video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.